Hi Aries, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Aries, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Aries. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the three of pentacles, and this is earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. So this is an, an energy of collaboration, fixing things, working together to really build something solid. There's an, a heavy energy of repair here yeah? and working together as a team, someone really being your ally here. Yeah? Okay, so let's see. We have the three of cups, water energy the Emperor Aries energy and we have the Four of Wands, fire energy. Yeah, someone wants to build a solid connection with you. They want to be in a serious relationship with you. Uh, with the Emperor, this person is showing up in their masculine, so they could be the one taking action towards making this happen. Um, with the Three of Cups, you could have met through friends or friends could be involved in facilitating you guys getting together. Um, this person also wants to spend more time with you. There's an energy of really wanting to deepen their connection with you, wanting to structure this connection wanting to make it into something more you know this is someone who's very invested with the emperor uh they're already loyal to you with the three of pentacles if you and this person didn't see eye to eye at some point they're very determined to repair things okay so let's clarify these cards aries Okay, so we have the Nine of Swords in the reverse, and this is Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius Energy. So this is an energy of someone who is getting out of their head. They could be taking more action instead of, you know, overthinking the situation. This person has thought a lot about it, and it looks like they are in a position where they're ready to kind of make something real. They're ready to implement and take action towards this. Okay, so we have the Ten of Cups, Water Energy, the Queen of Swords, Air Energy, and the Seven of Wands fire energy so yeah this person really wants to commit to you this person sees a future they want that happy day after with you um with the queen of swords being here they they do want to have some sort of rational communication with you about it like they want to kind of like define the relationship this is someone who's ready for that definingness of this connection okay so i'm gonna pull out an oracle card for you um aries So we have nothing is yet set in stone, mutable moon. Okay, so we have let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others so you could have mutual friends with this person and the friends are involved in some way here okay so let's see
Okay, we have dignity. A wise man has dignity without pride. A fool has pride without dignity. Okay, so I'm gonna pull out a card for your advice. Okay, we have surrender to spirit. Once you've done everything you can to achieve a goal, turn the situation over to the divine. Let spirit work its magic for you. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Aries. I hope you have a really, really good day, Aries. Bye, Aries.